Hi everyone, my name is Mridol and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out the cheapest products from Zara. I've done quite a few videos like these in the past. I'll make sure to leave their links in the description box below. I've done one on H&M, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've done one on Nykaa as well. So essentially what I do is I go through every single category and then uska jo sabse cheap product available hai, I buy it, test it out and tell you guys how it is. So yeah, let's get started with today's video. So on the Zara app, they actually don't have a filter which says price low to high. We had to manually go and search for the cheapest products. Also, one more thing, we don't count sale items on sale. So if there's a product that is on sale, that doesn't count because probably when you're watching the video, the product might not be on sale. So I'm talking about MRPs here. So the cheapest product in the category of basic tops and tees is for 490 rupees. Actually, two options I have. A t-shirt and a can. Hai. I personally went for the cami. So the cami comes in quite a few different colors. The one that I liked is like a cool tone nude. It's a very unique shade of nude beige. It gives me very skims vibe for some reason. And let's talk about the fabric. It's very soft. It's very nice. I just wish it was a little bit thicker because thoda sa see through ho raha hai. But other than that, the fit is really good. It is for 500 rupees, almost 500 rupees, which is quite expensive for a cami. You want cheaper basics you can go on ski on and check it out i'll leave a link of course time will tell how this one will last but i think this is not too bad so let's move on to more formal top wear so shirts and blouses may sabse sasta shirt was for 1990 rupees quite a lot i know but i'm actually not even surprised it's zara so this is the shirt that was the cheapest and it comes in a bunch of different colors the one that i went for is this very pretty emerald green i love this color and even on indian skin tone it's so flattering jewel tones just look so so good but i feel like other than the color nothing really impressed me fabric bhi acha hi hai but bahut patla hai again and even the fitting was not that flattering it just felt very office going kind of a shirt which is not bad i mean if that is something that you like and if you actually do go to office and this is something that might look good on you go ahead but for me i just felt like it was too formal and it did not look good and also i can't justify the price for it which is why i still have the tag on it and i'm going to be returning this next category that we have is jackets and the cheapest jacket available on zara was for 2990 rupees. It's a plush oversized jacket and again it comes in a bunch of different colors. The one that personally I liked was again, are you even surprised? A beige brownie tone nude. Let's start off by talking about the fabric. It is quite thick and I feel like it will keep you warm. It fits really well. It's very cuddly, very cozy and looks also quite stylish and quite nice. Definitely 3000 rupees is a lot but I feel like jackets utne hi mehenge hote hai, ye kuch extremely overpriced I think for the quality it's quite good and I'm gonna give this a thumbs up and I'm gonna keep this for sure. Let's move on to bottom wear. So the cheapest pants that were available were actually jegging style jeans um, and they were for 1990 rupees. So 1990 for a good pair of jeans is not that bad. Let's talk about the pair of jeans that I got. I got them in like a classic blue color and I will say they fit really well and they're quite stretchable, very very comfortable especially now since I've gained a little bit of weight my purani jeans would fit nahi ho so this was like the perfect time for me to get a new pair and I'm actually wearing it even right now and I sit down, palm cross, karke, very comfortable, very breathable. The fitting again, as I said, is amazing. So I feel like for 1990, it's not too bad if you wear skinny jeans. Something to note is that skinny jeans isn't really in fashion if you go to see. But if you don't care about all of that, if you still want to wear it, go ahead. I personally still like to wear skinny jeans with like short kurtas. Or if you're going to be wearing knee-high boots, you need skinny jeans. You can't wear them with flare pants, right? And I don't have skinny jeans. Nahi thi. So I finally have a pair and I love this one. 
I think this might just be my favorite purchase from this video. Let's move on to the accessories. So in the accessory section, the cheap item was for 990 rupees and a earring bhi tha aur ek necklace, like a choker necklace bhi tha. I personally thought earrings is too much, like 990 rupees is too much for a earring. So I picked up the golden choker, which is very much up my alley. So when I saw the website, pe dekha tha choker ko, mujhe laga regular chain choker hoga, but it's actually a really cool adjustable choker. I haven't seen anything like this before. This is actually my first jewelry piece from Zara, I'm pretty sure. The design is really, really cool. It looks very modern and I'm actually quite happy with this purchase. Of course, again, time will tell how well this wears. I really hope after paying 990 rupees, this doesn't tarnish. I'm quite happy with this purchase. The next category is my favorite bags. I do own quite a few bags from Zara. Zara and I really like Zara bags even though they're very expensive but they have like the most bizarre colors and the cutest shapes. So the cheapest bag in Zara is for 1990 and there are three types of bags that are for 1990. The one that I personally liked and picked up is this one. So it's a sling bag and again comes in a few different colors. I didn't have any golden bag thi, so I picked this one up. It's actually a golden and a silver bag. Initially I was not the biggest fan of doing golden and silver to Together, but I feel like it's really convenient like if you're wearing golden jewelry you can still carry this bag if you're wearing silver jewelry you can still carry this bag so I thought that was really cool when you look at this bag samne se, it looks very basic but when you open it it has three different compartments which is amazing I like to carry a lot of stuff let's just say that so this is going to be able to hold a lot of my stuff but I'm gonna keep it real it's not the cutest looking bag if it wasn't for this video I wouldn't have bought this bag but now that I have it I'm gonna make use of it. Next up we have flats again I love shoes. Shoes and bags are my weakness and uh, flats from Zara are some of my favorites. I have like three pairs from Zara and I wear them on repeat. The quality so far has been amazing. They look so luxurious and they last you a really long time. So the cheapest pair of flats available on Zara are for 2490. Very expensive, again comes in a few different colors. I personally went for a black one because I don't own a black pair of flats. Unfortunately, they don't fit me so I'm gonna have to get a replacement for these. They're quite basic to be very honest. I feel like for 2,490 rupees, it's very zyada basic. Hai ye. Achhi quality, hai, I agree, but I feel like these type of flats will be mil jayenge for a lot, a lot cheaper. They have a lot of really nice flats. I feel like when you spend that kind of money, you want to have them look a certain way and you don't want them to look basic so I feel like I'm gonna give this a thumbs down and the last category that we have is sneakers the cheapest sneakers were also for 2290 rupees so here we have a basic pair of white sneakers which is actually what I wanted because I have no sneaker nahi hai, jo plain white ho, pure white ho. so I was like okay I'll pick these and they were the cheapest so makes sense however when I look at them in person I don't know mujhe bahut hi not trendy lag rahe. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like this was a kind of style that was popular a few years ago. But I feel like it doesn't look that great anymore to me. By no means, it's a bad pair of sneakers. The quality looks great. And I feel like 2290 is not that bad for a pair of white sneakers because sneakers are quite expensive these days. But I feel like I'm going to return this because I don't have so much I'm not even going to wear them because I'm going to return them. So yeah, I'm not happy with this purchase. And yeah, with that, I'm going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my mini reviews on all of these products. If you want me to do this with another brand, let me know in the comments down below. In case you liked anything that I showed in today's video, I will make sure to link it in the description box below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on my Instagram, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!